YouTube, what is up? Coming to you with a, another drone, how to build your own FPV drone uh, tutorial video. Uh, this is another video in my how to build a drone series. So if you haven't checked out the other videos, uh, start at video one and go through the whole playlist. Uh, link in the playlist below, uh, link in the description below of the playlist. Um, today, the tutorial is gonna be on an addressable LED bar. This is gonna be how to uh, wire and program an LED bar and frankly what all the weird things on clean flight or beta flight mean. So what is an addressable LED bar? Basically what it does is each of these is possible of making nearly any color. Uh, they're RGB LEDs and each one you can see they've got the little uh, controllers there on the board uh, are possible of controlling individually so that means that uh, not all these have to turn on at once they can all be controlled by themselves uh, and they can give you some cool signals uh, which we will look at later on clean flight so the wiring is really simple as you can see there's just three wires coming off of it and I have not zip tied them down yet um, but they've got a ground wire the power wire, the red one here, and then the yellow one here is a signal wire, um, and that is the board here sending the information to uh, this as it's programmed, and it um, then tells it how to light up, and we'll look at that in a minute. Now, I haven't found a great way to attach an LED ever to the back of a drone, so <clears throat> if you have any great ideas, please leave them in the comments below, um, and who knows, maybe a good idea will win something later on. So, um, that is basically all the wiring. Um, again, if you haven't watched my other LED video, watch that one, and that'll show you how to hook up the power wires. I figured out, um, I just ran it off of a plain ground and five bolt off on my uh, Lux V2 here, uh, because the uh, LED slot um, is for the signal, and that is where this yellow one goes. There's a clearly marked LED um, pad and the wire just goes right up to that and then it plugs um, all of them solder onto the back of the board here in their respective spots. This one had an out for if you connect more than one. Uh, make sure you connect it on the in or else it will not work. Um, if you have any questions for a different board other than the Lux, let me know. I know some boards do and some boards don't do addressable LEDs, um, but most should have some sort of LED control um, or you can uh, kind of tweak some settings in clean flight to make it that way. They're really cool looking and I can't wait to show you guys. So let's look at the computer and then we'll take a look at this again and show you how it works. So I'm here on the computer now as you can see. Uh, my drone is all hooked up and things are working well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go right on to the LED strip tab. Uh, this is for beta flight, but it's the same process for clean flight. So we're going to go ahead and click on the LED strip here, and as you can see, um, I already got some uh, stuff set up there, so I'm going to go ahead and just clear all that uh, so we can start over. So um, what you're going to want to do first is click wire ordering mode, and the reason you do that is it sets that um, now as the real wiring, that's the hard wiring that's on your drone. Uh, so click that and it kind of gives you this graph. So if you have um, like one LED in the front or two LEDs in the front or something like that, you're gonna wanna set it up visually about the same so it makes sense. So I have four in the back as I showed you. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag four. Bam, let go, zero, one, two, three, just like that. Click off of wiring ordering mode and now we've got all three, of, all four of them. So you can set them each individually if you want to different colors, uh, but that gets kind of complicated. So what I'm gonna do is set them all the same. So we're going to go ahead and click here, um, and I'll get into all these real quick, but what you're probably going to want to do is click on color first off, and um, go ahead and click throw, well, okay, so let's talk about these things. So color modifier. Color modifier, if you turn that on, which I'm going to, uh, means that whichever one of these things is switched, so, I mean, as you can see, it can be any of these. I'm going to keep it at throttle because that looks the coolest. Um, it will change the color. For example, if you have it set to red, um, it will start out like pink, and then it will go... Uh, more red, the more throttle you get it. Larson scanner, which I'm also going to turn on, is kind of like the Knight Rider, and it goes, it kind of like the bouncing LED left to right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on also. Uh, blink always means it's blinking, uh, which especially if you have Larson scanner on, I wouldn't recommend. Um, and same with blink on landing, I wouldn't recommend it because it's below 50% throttle and not just when you're at 0% throttle. Um, overlay warnings and indicators, this is kind of nice if you have um, some warning set up such as fail safe, low battery, stuff like that, um, and indicator is not any of those things. Warning is also arm state, uh, which will mess with it if, we, if you want to do that here uh, later, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, now the indicator here um, is for the modes and orientation, and that will be uh, a different color depending on which, as you can see here, direction it is facing. Um, and so I just leave that off. 
Um, arm state, we'll get back to this. You can change the color based on um, which one is armed and disarmed. And uh, what I thought originally was that you could have um, all of these going at the same time, but you can't. It can only have one function at a time. Um, so we, I'm going to do arm state, but let's talk about the rest of these. Battery, uh, it will change um, color based on what percentage your battery is at, uh, but you are going to need a voltage monitor for this um, on, or a current monitor on your uh, flight controller, which a lot might not have. Um, so I would stay away from that unless you know your flight controller is set up for it. RSSI is signal strength. You could set this up now. and It's a great one. The only thing is most of the time your signal's dying. You can't see your LEDs anyways. So um, I don't really like this one personally, but it is a cool one. Um, GPS is um, as you can see here, if you don't have any satellites, you have no lock on the satellites or the GPS are good and locked. Uh, ring is a special LED that I am not going to cover in this video. If you do have questions on it, please let me know. Um, so again, color if you just want straight color, but what I'm going to do is arm state because it pretty much gives you two colors. It gives you a little more signal, uh, a little more um, information uh, without a whole lot more setup. So again, I'm going to turn on the throttle and Larson scanner. Uh, because I like those. I'm going to turn off warnings and indicator because I like to keep it just with the color modifier and I don't want it blinking. So now the special colors here are disarmed and armed and so I've chosen this light blue and this red. So uh, a good one too is green and red because uh, then when it's disarmed it's green like you're good you can go touch it and when it's red it's armed you don't want to go near it. I just kinda like this blue color so that's what I'm setting. So now when I'll show you guys this in a minute too, and I don't have a controller set up on it yet, so I can't show you the armed um, or the throttle color modifier, but I will show you in theory how it's going to work. Um, when it's like this and you go ahead and click save, don't forget to do that. This will now be a light blue when it is disarmed and when it's armed, it'll be a very light red or a pink. And the more throttle you give it, the more the darker that color will get. And it'll also do the bouncing LED Larson scanner, which is really a cool feature, I think. Um, so I'll show you guys that in the uh, real world here off the computer. Uh, again, if you have any questions on this technical setup, please feel free to leave them in the questions below. This was kind of just a brief overview, um, and I didn't go over a ton in depth what this does. Um, so if you do have any specific questions, please let me know. Uh, another good thing I forgot to mention was LED orientation, and this doesn't matter a whole lot, um, but you can hit south like that, and we'll, it'll say which direction it's pointing, such as my LEDs, or if they're down uh, or up something like that, or east, um, or all around. Uh, so mine are south, so I'm just going to leave them like that. And not a huge deal. Uh, it's more visual than programming-wise, but it is a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect and show you guys what it looks like when you plug up a battery. And again, when I get a controller set up, I will be able to show you a little bit better uh, what it actually does. So stay tuned for that and a separate video. Okay, so we are back with the drone here on the table, um, and I'm going to go ahead and plug this up without knocking it over and show you guys what it looks like. It is wicked, super cool, um, and it really turned out to be a really cool setup, and you can add boards that are much bigger than this one, make it even cooler. So here it goes. Wow. So you can see there, uh, that's the, uh, the Lawson, Dawson, whatever scanner, um, and that allows... Um, it to go back and forth like that and this is the uh, kind of teal blue and um, now if you add uh, more throttle to it then it turns uh, a little bit darker color and when you arm it it turns red and does the same thing. Uh, so this has been a setup on the addressable LED uh, for a um, beta flight clean flight setup on a Lux and this is the owl build. Again this is part of a bigger build so if you're interested in seeing more um, please check out my other videos and see you again in another video. Thanks guys, see you again. Let it go.